Howdy people, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my August 2024 physical media haul. I'm not going to call it my CEX haul because I didn't get really most of this stuff from CEX. I mean, I did, but most of it I didn't. Yeah, I mostly got it from eBay, so I'm not going to call it my CEX haul. I'm going to call it my physical media haul. Um, last video did really great on the 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 the, the haul that I'm gonna be looking down here a lot because I've got the prices of the stuff I didn't get from CX and uh, yeah it's just easier for me to remember it so let's just get into it I guess uh, first of all I got Shaun of the Dead it's a limited edition version and that is one pound fifth there the price will be on the screen probably up right there. The reason why I got this is because it is one of three parts of my favorite trilogy. They're not all linked. They've got the same actors and the same director. Uh, where does it say the director? Uh, okay, it doesn't really say it on the other discs. I mean, the other DVDs. Yeah, I got the limited edition one by accident. I didn't notice it until I got home. It says limited edition and the art cover of it is pretty cool it's all like drawn on focus yep cool yeah it cost me one pound fifty then next with that trilogy i have got a hot fuzz and that cost me 1.99 and i got this from ebay that's the reason why there's no uh cex uh sticker i got this because like i said just to complete the trilogy. And this ain't my favourite one from the trilogy. Shaun of the Dead is. This is my third favourite. My second favourite is right here. <laughs> I'll show that in just a minute. Um, I do like this movie. I do like the aspect of it. If that's the word. Yeah, I've, I mean, I'm not going to watch it for a very long time. Because I've watched it multiple times on Netflix. That's before I got it on disc. So, yeah. Right, next is uh the world's end and i got this from cex um this one is funny as hell that's why i prefer this one over hot fuzz and focus focus yeah, that's fine uh yeah i like the idea about it a lot of people do not like this movie because it's not as funny as the other two uh, but i do like this one quite a lot and this cost uh, one pound. So it's right there. And the disc is a the case up there is a bit damaged. I just not, I just noticed that. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch the case. I'm watching the disc. What I've got next is the Amazing Spider-Man one and two, and that cost me two pound and ninety four pence from eBay. Um, it comes with both of the movers, as it as you can see there. Um, reason why I got this is because I have got all of the other Spider-Man movies except this one. I want to do a Spider-Man movie marathon by myself in the living room. When I get my Series X, I'm going to hook it up to the big telly in the living room and watch it on there. Because why not? And this is my favourite Spider-Man from out of all of them. I mean, they they are amazing, but Andrew Spider-Man, I just like it. And my favourite one of, my favourite movie of all time is Tasm 2. Now I've got my favourite movie of all time, and that is called Legion. If you've not seen this movie, it is a big must. It is so good. And if you can't recognise him, he plays... Uh, uh what's his name vision in the mcu and uh jarvis that's the one um yeah it's my favorite movie of all time if you have seen this movie the if you know the spider granna if you know you know <laughs> uh yeah it is a must watch this came this this movie came out in 2010 i was either three or four yeah. All right, to all the American people watching, um, you might, you might not heard of this. Well, yeah, series. Well, bottom. <laughs> uh, cause this cost me one pound. I reason why I ain't got series one just yet is because I can't find it at all. I need to order it from CEX or eBay. Uh, reason why I got this is because it is funny as fuck. 
mean to to all the Brits are watching if you know you know and to match up with that I got uh well I think this is the last series of it season three um yeah reason why I got it for now and it's one pound fifty from CX yeah <laughs> now I'm about to show you a six movie trilogy and uh that is uh well it says a one two four down there on the stick I don't know if you can see it but I got the Resident Evil collection and it says on top um uh, it's got all four of the first movies on here that cost me two pound fifty my favorite one is Resident Evil Afterlife because it shows them all on the back I just really like that one because I don't know, it's just, it's just got more zombies in it, I guess. Yeah, I'll be definitely watching this when I get my Series X. Join the Resident Evil Club. I got the fifth Resident Evil movie for £1.50 from CEX. Um, reason why I got this is just to uh, complete it with the other ones. And um, I don't think I've actually watched this one properly. So, this is a must watch. Then the last one for the Resident Evil franchise is Resident Evil The Afterlife, the last movie. And that cost me £2.50. I have watched this one and it is pretty cool. I do enjoy it, especially the ending where... Wait, this movie's been out for ages. Um, the bit I'm talking about is where the robot girl, the... AI girl puts all her memories into Alice. That's that's pretty cool because she doesn't remember anything. And uh, the AI girl um, had this old child life thing, and uh, yeah, she doesn't remember like her past and like a childhood, I guess. Yeah. Now we are going into games. I mostly got like movies uh, this month because why not? And the first game I will be showing is uh, Call of Duty World at War. reason why I got this is because I want to try out the zombies on it. Um, I've seen a couple of videos on it and they, it does look fun. And this cost me $5.99 from um, eBay. Um, I've never really played this one. I've only seen videos like I said. Well, hopefully it is going to be fun. I might make some videos on it. Well, depends if you guys want it. I mean, Black Ops 6 is coming out in a couple of months. So I'm excited for that. Next on my list is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This cost me $3.99. And I have played this one. I've mostly played the multiplayer. It was during lockdown. And I've not really played the zombies on it. I do like the idea of the exosuits in the zombies. I'm going to make some videos on this as well. I might make a... Uh, what's it? Uh, playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in 2025. Yeah. <laughs> and then last on my list is uh, Call of Duty... Black Ops Cold War. I have never played this one. People say the zombies on it are pretty meh because apparently when you shoot them it doesn't count as points until they're fully dead. Um, I do want to try it out at some point. Um, make some videos on it. Did I say the cost of the... Well it's 4 49 I mean 9 49 My bad. Um, I got this from eBay and it's no uh, CEX logo. I've seen uh, streams on this game and uh, uh, videos on this game. That was my uh, August 2024 physical media haul. Next, I don't know if I'm going to do one next month. Depends. Um, well, I'll be doing some in uh, December because I'm planning to get load of games oh i also got well i ain't got it physically i got um assassin's creed unity for two pound for that digital so i don't know if i should add that to the list because that's not physical that is digital media but anyway i really hope you enjoyed today's video um next week i am well tomorrow actually i'm starting a uh, walkthrough i'm excited for that 
Um, I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like it. And if you're new around here, subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.